Hey everybody, Chris here from the Protocase team and today we're going to talk about understanding hole fitment when it comes to designing your custom parts. So when it comes to innovation, long lead times stifle projects and can kill focus and momentum. That's why we have an advanced mass customization manufacturing process that's ultra fast, flexible, and easy. Now we'll make your custom enclosures and parts in two to three days with no minimum order. So with our manufacturing being so fast, we like to do proto tech tip videos that give you guidance on some of the best practices for designing your parts. Now doing it this way, you can make sure that you're creating a manufacturable design from the get go and be able to move your project from design to production as quickly as possible. In a previous tech tip, we saw how clearances and different types of tolerances are a great method to account for your manufacturing constraints. If you do want a recap of that video, we shared a link in the description below. Now, building on that video this week, we're going to talk about the different types of fit that you should be modeling for your mounting holes. So, what do we mean when we say mounting holes in custom manufacturing? Well, these could be anything from a simple screw clearance hole, a countersink, a counter bore, or even a slot. So it's always important that you take all of your tolerances into account when sizing mounting holes. Now there are many tolerances such as a cutting tolerance, a bend tolerance, screw tolerances. They all come into play when designing. So we cover all of that in detail in the prototech tip that I mentioned before. Now there are three main types of hole fitments. Close, normal, and loose. Now here at Protocase we recommend using at least a normal fit. A normal fit has a small range in diameter for each screw size. It will most likely be used when a lot of extra tolerances are not required. Bending, welding, and powder coat coverage are the big ones. Now having said that, a loose fit is always going to be your best option and your safest option. This type of fitment allows a bit of extra clearance in case your holes aren't perfectly concentric. If you design in SolidWorks, you can choose your fitment through the Hole Wizard feature. The Hole Wizard is a tool within SolidWorks that allows you to quickly create holes within a part or assembly without the need of drawing or using multiple features. To access the Hole Wizard in SolidWorks, you can find it under your Features tab, as shown here. Now once you open the Hole Wizard, you are presented with several different types of holes that can be placed. These include screw clearances, countersinks, counter bores, tapped holes, and more. Now when you select the type of feature you want to place on your part, you can then scroll down to choose the fitment of that hole. You can see that as you adjust the fitment of the hole, the overall size either increases or decreases. Loose fit is great because it gives you some peace of mind to know that the holes will be large enough to fit the hardware, while at the same time it won't be so big that it's going to cause any problems. So that's all we've got for this week's Proto Tech Tip, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to help you out. Remember, with Protocase, you can revolutionize your workflow and simplify your part sourcing with the world's fastest custom manufacturer. So thanks for watching this week's Prototech Tip, and if you like our content, don't miss out on anything by subscribing to our channel for weekly tech tips and much more. Until next time, take care of yourselves.